This house is eight million dollars. The house is not worth eight million. And you'll get hit by a bus if the driver does what he's paid to do. Whoa. Hey guys, welcome to What the Flick. Ben, Christy, and Alonzo. This is And So It Goes. Michael Douglas, Diane Keaton. I didn't see it. You guys have three minutes. <laughs> oh, but, yeah. oh my God. So um, this is a Rob Reiner movie. This is very much a late career Rob Reiner movie. <laughs> You forget that he made Spinal Tap. That was so great. Um, so Diane Keaton and Michael Douglas are these mid-60s, side-by-side neighbors in a fourplex. They're both widowed. He is this cranky, misanthropic real estate agent in Connecticut who's trying to sell his mansion. She is a widowed um, wannabe lounge singer. They hate each other, but then they have to end up raising Douglas's 10-year-old granddaughter. Do you think it will bring them all together as a family? Take Hope a look. so. Me too. <laughs> Fingers crossed. There are a million reasons not to like Orin Little. Touch my car and I'll have you spayed. Neuter. For Pete's sakes, cut their hair. Is what you're gonna say really worth what I'm about to say back? Just ask everyone. Complain to the manager. We have. Well, did she happen to mention that I own this building. <laughs> this summer. I need you to take care of my daughter while I'm gone. What's going on? It's my son. Wait, who's that? And that's my granddaughter. She's probably Guatemalan. Mm -hmm. He had sex with the maid once. What From I the director of The Bucket List. Would you like to do this yourself? Only if you do it wrong. I'm gonna make someone a great wife someday. And when Harry met Sally, comes a comedy. Take that box, put it on that box, it's on that box. Are you a hoarder? about friendship. I'm the only friend you've got. Might have found somebody else who likes me so you can die now. Family. Now what is your favorite color for your room? Purple. No, that's, that's no good. That's bad for rentals. Oh, oh God, this movie. You know what it is? It's, it's really <laughs> mediocre. It's like, it it does what it needs to do for its target audience, mm. but really just sufficiently and it's blandly. A, it, is, it is like the kind of movie that airs on the Hallmark Channel <laughs> around Christmas time, but with, but with Oscar winners. But with Oscar winners, <laughs> exactly, yeah. I mean, Michael Douglas is basically, I, I, I just imagine the meeting was like, get me in as good as it gets. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to be the cranky old guy with a nougat center who finds love. It's got the same title as good as it gets. I know. And well, so yeah. It's the same so screenwriter. It's the yeah. same screenwriter, right? too. Oh, yes. is it? Oh, yes. that Mark explains Andrews. everything. Yeah. There's a oh, lot okay. of Melvin Udall in this character. Yeah, and so it goes. They they owe an apology to both Kurt Vonnegut and Nick Lowe for this one, I think. Um, yeah, this movie and is... And Billy Joel. A, Isn't there a Billy Joel song? And so it goes, and so it goes. Um, is that a Billy Joel song? I do not know, but please, I'll take your word for it. Please find out. I think there's a Billy Joel song called that. Right. Right. Anyway, yeah, yeah, you're right. It's so sad to see what happened to Rob Reiner after like the, like five or six amazing movies, then just they have been terrible. And you know, I, I certainly admire his political work, but boy, his films have just not been good in a long time. And in really uncomfortable moments of watching Diane Keaton sing these torch songs. Yeah, and I mean, she can sing. She we we've she's seen fine. her sing in other movies. In this movie, she's okay, but they treat her like she's the second coming of you know Etta <laughs> James or something. <laughs> and then uh, oh, and there's this really okay. So the granddaughter is. The, 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 is the, the child of Michael Douglas's son, who used to be a drug addict but now isn't. And um, she's being raised in this, like, in the projects or something. And when they go to pick her up, the movie's disdain at, like, how poor non white people live is so yeah. icky and palpable. It's just like, it's like, okay, yes, well, it's one thing to, to say, like, oh, look, she's in poverty and this is not a good situation, but it's literally just so, you about it. I, I just, it, it's kind of nauseating, because this movie is, it looks like a Land's End catalog, otherwise. <laughs> right, they're right on, like, this charming little waterfront, mm -hmm. even though it's, it's not a great fourplex, L Lots but... of white linen suits, yes. you know. Um, um, hang on, just, I'm sure this violates some sort of ASCAP rule, so we'll do it really quick. Nice call. Thank you. Oh, okay. Thank All right. You. I didn't know. I believe you. Sometimes I didn't know that things one. stay in my brain. I didn't know that one. Um, and, and there is a nice per supporting performance by Frances Sternhagen, who's always fun. Yeah, she is the the, um, the curmudgeonly boss office of, manager or of whatever. Michael Douglas. Yeah, the but and there's like a running thing with him, which is very um, as good as it gets ish, where he's got this kind of casual racism mm. about everyone he meets, and when he's trying to sell his 8.6 million dollar mansion, he puts a new photo. Photograph oh, a family picture, based yeah. on whatever ethnicity it is that the potential buyers are, right. and then eventually the person who does buy it is like the new pitcher for the Mets, who's just signed some 170 million dollar contract, but they think he's the gardener. 
<laughs> <Whoa! laughs> Casual racism Ooh, is so funny. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so it's just not funny. It's not romantic. Mm. It feels contrived at every step of the way. It, yeah, it, it's just one of the, it's a, it's, a, it's a watch watcher, you know. And it's also <laughs> short. In our week of short movies, this is also only an hour and a half long. But it doesn't feel but like it. But it feels longer. Um, so your number is? A three. It's very kind. I give it a two. Our average is 2.5. It is at 25% on the tomato meter. Go back and watch When Harry Met Sally instead. Mm. Bye.